Hello guys, welcome back to our channel and uh, a new uh, video for our uh, 2013 Electroglide, the classic one. As you guys noticed in the last video, we finished um, the rear fender swap um, and continue. And today we're going to continue working on the back side. We're going to have the new set of bags with the extension that we're going to start to install today with a fender extension here so let's get started open the box get everything out and start okay guys we got them out of the box they look great nice paint nice packaging the only down part is the keys the keys were inside one of these bags and and it's locked so we have to we had to uh kind of remove uh the speaker grill a little bit and then able to get the keys out yeah, but we, didn't, we didn't remove it completely we just prime it on one side lift it but it was <laughs> it was hard so i'm not sure why <laughs> they make it that smart to put the the keys inside one of the bags and the, it's locked so anyway that was uh only so far the only down part of these saddle bags. You guys from from eBay, not that expensive, but they look great. Nice paint, seems to be like sturdy. So now we're gonna start put them on the bike. So let's open them and uh, start mount them on the on the on the bike. So now we're gonna put the first bag on. That's a uh, what, right side and they come already with uh, some rubbers here to be mounted on that uh, bar so let's go and you see this lock have to hear that click we can adjust that because I already uh, I had to remove it when I changed the fender oh. so if we need to angle a little bit we can do that so let's take right. a so angle. let's unscrew this one let's look through the opening first and see if we can it needs to go up a little. Okay. okay. That is the right side of the first one. Okay, let's put the other side in. All right, we put both bags. They look beautiful. Yeah, look at this, guys, with a five inch extension wrapping around this exhaust tip. And we're gonna complete the lock here by the extension filler here that we're gonna put now. And we're gonna have to try to match everything to be same length. So that will be our next step. Okay, guys, here is a box for the fender extension that will fill the space between the fender and the and the saddle bags look at this guys oh that's beautiful it's yeah. awesome looks great and how they hugging these exhausted <laughs> wow. so now the plan to fit this we're gonna actually try to with the paint tape fix them where the position is supposed to be then we're gonna work one side at a time because we're gonna have to take out uh i'm not sure if we have, have to take the saddle bags out yes. again yes we, we do we're gonna have to drill in the fender from the side oh okay so, so we're have to well we put the saddle back first so we look at everything together and make sure like everything is <clears throat> like looks aligned Uh, 
all right we're gonna do the first mark with this hole it allows you go up and down so we don't want to go up and down that much which is we still can so i'm gonna do it right in the middle is that in the middle I think so. Yep. And when you drill in uh, painted metal, always work your way with uh, drill bits. Very small, or I mean, not very small, tiny. <laughs> uh, then you go bigger then after you finish drilling so the metal does not rust it's, it's, it's a good idea to uh, just a very quick spray paint with anti-rust uh, just to protect your fender that's the whole point all right with this one I think did you mention this some people they use bracket for this yeah you can get the the mounting bracket the from Harley or 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 Amazon or whatever uh, online you can buy it and uh, you can use it or you can do what we gonna do here we're just gonna get like bolts and nuts and and use them like three bolts and nuts and we're just gonna use them okay uh, I don't think the brackets a good idea because the brackets one big metal bar with three bolts coming out of it so when you drill your holes you are guided with one line like i said before the bike it was involved in a, a small accident so i'm not sure everything is actually a hundred percent lined up so i will go with just separate bolts and nuts so, but anyways, uh, it's an option out there. There's brackets, and actually, it's not very hard to install. Um, anyways, back to what we're doing. And for this one, just in case if we want to move the extension forward or backward. So, I'm not going to put the hole right in the middle where it was supposed to be. I'm going to push it a little bit forward. And we always count for the uh, diameter of the bolt. I'm sure we're not going to get bolt a bigger than this, but instead of put it like right here, which is a right size bolt supposed to be here, but I'm going to put it right here. Mm -hmm. Just give it a, yeah, a little bit wiggle room. A little bit wiggle room. My only concern is up and down. I think when I need to go a little bit up. Here's good. Yeah. And once again, here is supposed to be like right here, but I'm not gonna do it here. I'm gonna move it a little bit. And instead of right in the middle of that center, I'm gonna just put it here. It will give us about, I would say like eighth of an inch. Now the concern is up and down. I think we're good. Yeah. All right. Now let's move to the other side. Yeah. Okay, guys. It's actually the next day here since we finished late last night last night and we're gonna be hard to drill and make noises for our neighbors so what we're gonna do now we're gonna get the extension out and we're gonna move the bracket behind the fair and be behind the fender so we can start drilling so let's go all right we drilled the first hole with a 1 16th yep. uh, drill bit and and that's 
the first one here the second one is right there the third one is there and we so we don't have to change the little bit like often so we're gonna go with the 116th all around the six holes then we'll be, keep going bigger and bigger with drill bits. Make sure this one you don't have to worry about like get into your tires, but these two here, you have to put something behind. So we did that. Uh, pry bar or pry bar, pry bar. Behind it, I'm gonna hold it and drill. Okay. Time lapse about it. All right, we finished drilling the three holes. One, two, three, this side, the other side. Everything is good. We tested the uh, bolts we bought. Uh, they do fit nicely. What we have to do now, just spray some uh, rust barrier. So, because you know, that's gonna be next to the wheel. Um, and make sure that the bolts you buy, they're stainless steel, so they would be like naturally anti-rust. Anyways, we're gonna spray some anti-rust uh, rust barrier, sorry, and uh, the other side as well. Okay guys, so the anti-rust dry, now I'm gonna get the light ready. So that's the light that was already on the bike. I'm gonna use the connector here because um, the new light came with a connector, uh, but this should fit in the uh, in the state of the main one, main light, and you should like solder some wi wires together. So we already have it. So I'm gonna take the connector boot here and try and see if it works for all the light. So let's do. That. Okay. So you come from here, go from the top until it stops, then pull up and pull your wire out. So we're gonna do the same in here. All right, we got the two wires out of the plug. But after we got them out, we discovered there are females. And inside the bike here, it goes up here. This plug, it goes up here. It go, the male is right there. The new uh, light came with males. So, Technically, if we put those back in the plug, it will be male with male, which is not gonna work. Oh, it's not gonna go in. Uh, it's not, yeah, it's not gonna work. So, we have two options now. We can connect the new light to this plug, the main light plug, which is, it gets running light and brakes. The old light, by the way, if you notice, it only has two wires because it's only running light. It has no brakes. But the new light actually came prepared with this, uh, the turn signals, brake light and running light. We're still not gonna work the turning signals. It's either we, this light is gonna go here. So this wire, it has to go from underneath the fender, come out from here, meet this plug, and then we can connect them. We just cut, cut, and connect. It's going to be one plug in this situation. The only downside with this, it will be down the road. If we want to change anything, if we want to get anything apart again, we have to cut the wires again. Because that's the only way you can disconnect this one, which is coming from here, comes out of here, connect to this one. Do you, okay. Let me try to demonstrate a little bit more clear, which is, I think I'm, I'm already clear, but you know, I like to over explain stuff. All right. Now this light is here, it's gonna meet this plug. We're gonna cut these wires, sure not the green and brown, but the other three wires. We're gonna bottom or team with these three wires just to make it one plug. It's gonna run this light and that light. 
Say down the road, something happened. I want to take something off. I have to cut the wires again to disconnect them so I can actually come loose. You can let go. So I can actually disconnect them. I don't think it's a good idea. I think I will go with we can find another female, a third female. It's the wrong color of wire, I know. Cut these two females. So now we have three females. Just put them in this plug. Cut these terminals. Connect them to these wires. Plug them back in the plug. And we have a working plug running and brakes. And separate, so we don't have to wrap And separate. Plug. That's the good part for me. Okay guys, now we're gonna got everything uh, connected. Now let's put the connector plug on the harness and see if everything is gonna work. Okay. Moment of truth. Yep, we have a running light. Yep, we have a brake light, so. Yep. So now the tri bar light is ready. Now let's uh, install it an extension and put the extension on the bike. Now we got the light into the, the extension and ready to go. And now we're gonna start with the bolts, with the nuts uh, for the two down here as you just can slide in and we're gonna leave the top one we gonna boil it later on okay guys that's what it looks like after we put the saddlebags bag and uh, and put the extension and the light and everything looks great i like how the how it looks with the extended uh, set it back i think they are five inches extension and with a fender extension the filler in, in between it looks amazing we are almost done with that back of the of the motorcycle we have uh, the next step what we're gonna do is we're gonna work on the turn signal in the back in the front we got some led lights but they have a resistor so we're gonna walk you through how to install the resistors how to find which wire is your turn signal wires and uh, we'll connect the resistor and we'll go from there all right we're gonna change the light bulbs for the uh running light and turn signals for the front uh, you just press in counterclockwise it comes out guys when you change light bulbs especially for turn signals stop light like uh, brakes always watch out for how many uh, leads in the bottom and with the position of the these two notches it's one low one high same same level and i can show you actually in the same bike the front ones is different than the back ones okay like i showed you that's the front one one higher than the other the back one they're both on the same level but anyways that's not our purpose our purpose actually we're changing the original light bulb to an LED think, yeah, that's the front one that's the front one see 
How did he know this is the front one? Because it's different level. See? The two notches, different level. And I, I believe that's 157. I'm one, not sure. Yeah, yeah. One, um, one, one, 157. 1157. The real one is 1156. Okay, so this one is 1157. The uh, rear one is 1156. Anyways, back to the point. I'm gonna show you something very strange. When you change from halogen to LED, LED is very sensitive. I'm talking about voltage wise, and even sometimes it's bag voltage. Um, <clears throat> I actually have a 2017 Camry, and I changed the light bulbs, the regular halogen ones, to uh, LED. When I had the auto light on, with the halogen, it was not on. When I put the LED light bulbs, it was flicking. When you turn it on, it's fine. But if the light sensor is not seeing a lot of light, the light bulb is just flicking. So let's see this one. I'm gonna put the old light bulb in and see what is the rate or how fast the certain signal is gonna be on. All right, that's the running light. Nothing changed with that. You see the rate? One, 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 one. All right, turn it off. And when, when you put the LED light on, All right, with the LED light, some, sometimes the, because usually you hold the light bulb, so it gives you leverage to go deeper. But this one is kind of like just the base and there's some wire, so you cannot get it in. So just get a long nose, press and twist. Now we're gonna see what's gonna light is gonna go. Go ahead and try. That's the running light. Turn signal. See? It's one one, but it's faster. If you wanna get rid of that, the actually the skit came with resistors. This LED light uh, kit came with resistors. Because I told you, LED is very voltage and amp sensitive. What halogen light reacts is completely different from LED. But this resistor is like, all you have to do is just connect between the positive and negative of the signal, not the running light. You track the light, you track the wire. That's the wire coming out of this, the whole thing. All right, and it comes, if you track it, it comes back to three wires. Once again, one ground, one of these is running light, one of these is turn signal. How do you know that? With a test, with a tester. Connected in a very good ground, a good a ground. How do you unless you connect it to a good ground or a ground? Not good ground, just ground. Keep testing it somewhere. Uh, let's say here. Here you go. It light up. So that means this one's a ground and this one is hot. If you connect to that black one, do nothing because it's ground to ground, nothing. So now we know that our ground is good. If you have a test tester, with a long wire, you can actually connect it to the negative uh, of the battery, but that's that's long. And anyways, we track that all this here. We have only the running light on. So let's try this. We know that's ground. We know that's, I don't know what it is, but it's not lighting up, so there's no light, there's no uh, juice going to it. Okay, 
Now I have juice at this one. So that means that's the wire for the running light. All right, can you turn the uh, turn signal on? Okay. See, now I know that the purple one is for the turn signal. What you need to do, that's bottom line. What you need to do, that's your light bulb. Let's say that's the turn signal. It has positive and negative, which is hot and ground. All you have to do, connect that resistor between the positive and ground. That's it. And what I'm saying, when I, when I said that's uh, peel a piece of the positive or negative, or I mean hot or ground, get a piece of wire out of it, or embed a piece of it inside the connection of the resistor, that's what I mean, right here. Once you peel a piece of that, here's a yellow wire. You peel the piece out of it. So you expose the piece. Once you, well, after you expose it, you're gonna connect it by embedding inside or wire it. You can even cut these two clamps and just wire everything. All you have to do, get that resistor. Resistor, it has two ends, one end and two ends, and the other end. One end has to be connected to negative, the other end has to be connected to the positive, or the hot wire to that bulb. So, what we decide to do, here, we are gonna do the resistor, between the purple and black, which is positive and negative. We're gonna put it right here, so we have a big space for the resistor, just to keep it. All right, uh, I tried to bend the wire and put it in there and clamp on it with the other side, but it was so tight. So I just I just got a, a long nose plier. I, try, I made this one a little bit bigger just to get the, the space or the difference in the diameter with or without the wire. So let's try it now. Uh, let's, let's go this side. All right, all the wires are inside. Now let's try to plug the other side. It's going in, but it's it's hard. So um, I'm gonna make the male. I'm gonna make the male a little bit smaller. So so let's try this. Make the male the male a little bit smaller. It's gonna be hard actually because it's it's three way, three sided. So wherever you're gonna go. It's gonna changing the shape. Yeah. Alright, let's try this. I mean it's going in very hard, so everything's intact. But I'm not sure to leave that part exposed like yeah, this. Okay, that's a positive. Yeah, and that's that's yeah. hot. So, uh, use a uh, that's that's what they were 
talking about right here see they were peeling the wire stuff it inside the female and put the the male in they even did it again right here I with the negative side let's try to do some pressure and try to push it see i'm afraid that's to do that pressure and i'm gonna break some wire here or <sighs> okay It's all the way in there. No, uh, I'm still. Ha I, I, ha for that being hot, I have to put some insulation. Yeah, we have to anyway. Uh, yeah. Okay. So I think that's good. Okay. Let's use a negative one and see if it's gonna work or no. Okay. So now we gonna try. We put the connector back on. Let's see. Okay, now let's turn the signal light on. Okay, I think it's working. We just discovered that if we put one resistor on the front, that side, it, it controlled the back as well. So what we're gonna do for now, we're gonna just do it one on the up front and just to let you know, this resistor gets really, really hot. I actually burned my finger, but... So, what you need to do is just connect it to some metal. Because metal to metal, they release a lot of heat, a lot of heat uh, fast. So, what we're going to do, we're going to just drill a hole here and actually connect that uh, resistor here. Make sure that there's no wires touching it. I'm not talking about its own wires, I'm talking about any other wires because it's gonna melt the insulation. Uh, one more thing, um, that's something I actually learned a long time ago. Um, now we're gonna insulate it with some uh, uh, electric tape. In this tight spots, you can't actually use the whole thing. So what I learned is just, you take a piece and roll it the other way just roll it uh -huh. if it rolls there you go that's good and the function for that or the reason we do this because now i can come here put everything together put that here and I can just keep rolling, rolling and insulating everything, going in the very tight places. That's why I did this thing with the electric tape. And let's go to the other side. So now we got the resistor on the other side and worked perfectly and uh, the next step is we're gonna put the cover for these four uh, turn signals and we have uh, some nice chrome with a smoke lens uh, cover for these turn signals and just to let you know guys we're not sponsored by this brand or mm -hmm. any other yeah. sponsor but that's it's what just... I found on Amazon, good price and shiny and nice. So, and the uh, dark lens is actually with the LED. It makes a beautiful light comes out of it. Let's put them on and see what they look like. All right, guys. I promise we did not see it working before, but now let's see how it looks like. Oh my goodness, that's beautiful. Yeah, it's very bright. With, yeah, even with a dark lens. You cannot tell it's dark lens. No, but I mean, uh, okay, now the camera cannot get it. it the camera is not giving it its, its right. It's, it's beautiful. You know, when, that, when you look at LED, it's, you can see every single diode.
And let's see what the turn signal looks like. It's beautiful. I love how it looks. And let's look at the back. Let's see the back. Can you turn off the... This way, this one doesn't have a running light, so yeah. it's just turn signal, so... I'm gonna try to show you, guys. Okay, now you can see. Can you see those? Every single diode, you can see it. I mean, the camera's not capturing it, but it's beautiful. Yeah, and think was. Oh my God! Look at a, look at the tail light. Yeah, because the tail light is smoked lens LED as well. So, it's happy. beautiful. Yeah, I'm happy with it. It is. It, it is, is gorgeous. Very good. Yeah. So I think well, the last thing we're gonna do for that video for today is we're gonna put the tour pack on it to see what is everything looks like. Maybe we can put the seat as well. Oh yeah. Yeah. Yeah, let's do this. All right, and by the way, guys, excuse the mess. <laughs> we're in the middle of project, we're in the middle of cleaning the, he's cleaning actually the side of his house. Uh, a lot of yard work, but let's see what's going on. Okay, guys, one more last uh, upgrade to match everything. We're gonna change that front fender tip light with uh, also LED with a smoke lens nice chrome so let's go ahead and remove that uh, light just go with a flathead screwdriver take the cover then remove these two screws oh be careful there's nuts in the back so just between the two fingers you hold the nut That's how you try to hold it between the two fingers. You know, take them, this kind of stuff, take it out, it's easy, put it back like on, you, it's yeah. pain. Because you don't see it, it's just like... Yeah. <laughs> it's just, you work with the sense in this situation. Harness. Just press and pull. Press and pull, but it doesn't want to pull. I'm pretty sure it's press and pull. Oh, sorry guys. It's press on this side, which is this tab right here. I thought it's this one, but no, it's that one. So it goes in this way. I'm gonna put it all the way in. All you have to do is just this notch, you press on it, and you can push actually, and that's it. Okay. You know guys, um, this one is not that greasy, but greasy towel with nice paint is your best friend. This one's not that greasy, and look at that. It cleaned it really good. And it looks like it's a perfect fit. Yeah, everything will be the reverse of what we did. Alright, when we're trying to install the new light, this one, uh, which is this one, we found out that these two uh, chrome lines or chrome uh, extensions, they're pushed to the back. So when you put that comfy and perfect fit from the front, they were not meeting. It, first, it was meeting here really good, which is, I mean, anyways, this side was good, but this side was not. When I was trying to put that side back in, this side goes out and it keeps going back and forth. So I figured out that these two lines, these two uh, chrome pieces, they need to be pushed forward. So there is two 10 millimeters bolts, actually nuts, because the bolts they're built in inside the two chrome pieces. The nuts is in the back of the fender. So you have to loosen those so you can actually 
move that chrome piece forward and backward same way here see that's that's how it's supposed to be i think this one is kind hard to move because if if you got the camera a little bit close the fender itself is kind of bent a little bit on this part but if you push it this way it goes back to normal and we're not changing the fender so we're gonna deal with it i mean just a little bit hard to move that's the whole thing but it's moving so now what we're gonna do just install the light make the light comfy perfect like perfectly laying where it's supposed to be because the light is controlled by two holes the two the position of the screws so usually you are you put the fixed point first then you adjust the adjustable points after that Okay guys, let's uh, fix that light in place and keep moving. All right, we finished installing it. We tightened the two uh, nuts I told you about from this side, that side. Both pieces, it's they're tight. Light is Can good. You explain what we did with the camera. Oh, okay. There is a bolt going. The base of the bolt, it's actually inside this chrome piece. There is one here and one here. This one, that chrome piece is kind of um, loose, it, so it got bigger. The bolt has a base, usually it's a rectangle or a square, holds in the railing of this piece. So it doesn't span when you're trying to tighten the nut. What we're doing, because that piece is kind of got wider from the crash, it was mainly, uh we got the bike so when we did the uh the towel and the pliers the long nose pliers because i want to tighten this so i can hold the bolt the head of the bolt so i can tighten the nut and at the same time i don't want to scratch the chrome piece that's why we're using the towel oh my god that chrome piece is so shiny i love it now so let's fire it and let's see how it looks. Oh my God, look at this. That's beautiful. Yeah, everything now chrome, smoke lens, and LED white. And uh, the smoke lens over here is the same smoke lens here. So I love it. Everything matched. I love it. Yeah. So now we complete the lighting up front. The only thing is going to come up is I have an LED headlight as well. So oh, okay. okay. So <laughs> when we finish the front fairing, we're gonna put that in. Okay, now let's jump to the back with the tour back and the seats to complete the look in the back. Okay. All right, guys, we finished the uh, the tour, uh, the tour bag, the saddle bags, everything in there, everything. Region. That's what's going to be the final look. There's some other stuff that needs to be tightened, but... Anyway, we're going to have to remove everything, like saddle bags and everything on this side back, because we're going to put the amplifier. Oh, yeah, yeah. And we're going to put a speaker in the tour back, so... So all the camera. audio, all the audio wiring, it has to go through, which is... It's going to require that we're going to move everything again, but... Uh, that's will be that's, our next video. Yeah. The amplifier and... So, with the new seat, I love the seat. And by the way, this seat it has a, a backrest goes in here, yeah. but we don't have it. Uh, we have it, but we didn't put it here yet. And the front. Oh yeah, go ahead. Oh, just like that. It looks beautiful.
see the LED light, the front. Oh, I, I see love it. The back again with the lights on. Yeah, let's do that. And look at that bottom tail light. It's beautiful. That's the one I mean. This one. It's beautiful. And look at the... Can you turn the lights off? Oh, actually, you don't have to. Look how it's aligned. The fender extension with the saddle bag. I love it. Oh, yeah. It's getting together, guys. It's getting together. And that's it? Yeah, thank you so much, guys. Please like, subscribe, and turn your notification on so you can uh, get notification when we have the next video ready. And uh, if you have any questions, if you have any comments, please let us know. Once again, we are not professionals. We're doing it because we love doing it. Yeah. Thank you for watching. Thank you.